Well, with less than a year until the 2022 midterms, Gen Z voters could become a major problem for Democrats. Polls show they are the least likely to identify as conservative, but they are also the most likely to disapprove of the job President Biden is doing. NBC's Noah Pransky is here to help break it down for us. Noah, these are the same voters who helped get President Biden elected. Is that right? Yeah, and we're not just seeing it in the polling, but also in recent turnout numbers. Young voters appear very frustrated at the slow pace of progress in Washington. We took a look at the recent turnout in Virginia, and the exit polling suggested that the turnout for voters under the age of 30 was down a whopping 64 percent from just a year ago, more than three times the drop in voters over the age of 30, and saw similar results in California for their recall election, where the numbers of voters under the age of 30 dropped by almost half. You know, Republicans may love calling Gavin Newsom or Joe Biden liberals, but to a lot of progressives, those gentlemen aren't liberal enough. And Democrats are concerned that they may keep losing elections if they don't get more campaign promises fulfilled fast. Most people intuitively believe that when a party has unified control of the federal government, including majorities in both chambers of Congress, that they should be able to act swiftly, especially on the priorities that they campaigned on. You know, President Biden's resume already has a number of reverse Donald Trump controversial policies. He's passed a bipartisan infrastructure deal, and the U.S. has since rejoined the World Health Organization and Paris Climate Accords. But that's not enough for a lot of young voters. According to a recent YouGov poll, voters under the age of 30 are the least likely generation to call President Biden liberal. They're also the least likely generation to say he is honest and trustworthy. So the expectations for this young generation are drastically different of how much a president should be able to accomplish compared to older generations. They want to see more progress on climate, on health care, and civil rights. They care very deeply about these issues. They see them kind of starting to reach this tipping point of no turning back. And so they want bold action on them, and they want that fast. More set of polling numbers here. The Harvard Kennedy School survey earlier this year of voters under the age of 30 showed that 36 percent of Americans at that age are politically active. That's a lot more than just 2009 after President Obama's first election, when only 24 percent of young voters said that they were politically active. But these days, a lot of them may come from marching in the streets or voicing their opinions on social media. And until that generation comes out to the polls more, they're going to have trouble getting some of their priorities passed. Right. So is it all good news for Democrats in the future or, or good news for Republicans right now? There's opportunity for both parties right now. It isn't necessarily all good news for Republicans because it shows that their party isn't activating this young generation either. Indications are that even though a third of voters under the age of 30 cast ballots for President Trump last year, that generation is not likely to be hearing from the Republican Party either. I think both parties need to reach out to their young voters a lot more and not just count on them turning out every two or four years.